is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 35 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. Alright. First, let's copy this. Um, three times. Alright, go to perspective here. F3 and select this and copy this three times as well. Make sure you get it on 90. This is going to create the impression that our barrels go down all the way, which is really, really useful, to say the least. Um, back. Create a cylinder right over here. All I'm doing is lining up with this line and this line. That'll give you pretty much what you're looking for. Alright, and let's see. Increase the radius a bit. Alright, perspective, inset, sometimes I press F2 and those polygons get unshaded. Okay, and extrude back in. Alright, next select these edges here and chamfer. Oops, uh, loop first, then chamfer. Alright. Select all those verts and just drag them back a bit. And then for good measure, we're going to just build a little bit bigger one here and align it. Those two things, effect pivot only, align, okay. Um, that didn't work. So, attach, um, effect pivot only, align to there, okay. Rotate, this is gonna work, 90 degrees. Alright, um, next let's build this little center thing, so, pretty much a capped off version of this, so, um, let's copy it over, effect it only, center to object, scale it down quite a bit, um, align it here except in the Y position. Um, then oops. get the verts and just bring them back. Select this, go to compound objects, pro boolean, and pick, I start picking and pick the inside gray things. And if you did it right, there should be four. Okay, got them. Convert it to an editable poly. F3, select these, and then just move these on back. And now you have, well, something. Let's see here. Um, let's 
delete it and see what happens. Alright, that works. I think there are two of them there for some reason. I don't know why though. Mistake on my part, probably. Um, right. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Alright, let's just give it a quick render here. Alright, here's the render. Um, things we have to work on, putting a smooth modifier on here, booleaning these things out. Probably going to thin this area out a bit as well. Um, I might put a turbo smooth on these things because they're kind of blocky and chamfering them can cause potential problems. Let's start with here. Smooth modifier. Um, auto smooth fixes it right up. Right one there. Smooth, auto smooth. Oops. Um, let's see. Just move those up a bit. things go in, but, um, I'll just do this, bring the sides in a bit, okay, perspective, F3, yeah, so that did what I wanted, brought them in quite nicely, alright, Assign it all a gray material. Make it black. Alright. And barrel is almost done. Next, we need to have a cylinder. Okay, just in the center here. Six. Increase the radius a bit, increase the height, drop it right down in there. Okay, effect of it only, align, alright, and rotate it 90 degrees, and three copies. Alright, now, barrel is done, and Alright, let's just boolean out these things. They've been here long enough. So, pick, pick, right, convert to editable poly, boom. We have our little gaps in the side. Next, let's build a little box thing that comes out. Um, decrease the height a bit. Convert to editable poly, select that polygon, edges, chamfer. Alright, just get the chamfer the way you want it. Move it to the other side. Mirror on the Z axis. And move it until it just barely touches the edge. Okay. I believe the main body there is done. Uh, never mind. There's some type of strange aiming mechanism up here. Let's just extend this out a bit. And we'll widen it a bit as well. Alright. That'll have to be it for part 35. I'll see you in part 36.